And I am live, I think. Let's see what happens. Yes, live, baby. Okay, um, sorry if you guys get a ton of background noise. I'm on my PS3 that's going to explode. That's what it sounds like anyway. Um, let's see here. I need to go to web mod here. Actually, you know what? I don't because I want to play the uh, carbon first. So let's do that. What's up, guys? How you doing? Let me just put in carbon real quick. Well, I'm uh, trying to keep my microphone away from my PlayStation. Ugh. But it's covering up my chat, so hold on a second. Ah, just here. I don't think I need that part for now. Okay, how's it going, everybody? Um, oh, hold on. It says signal out of range here. Uh, hold on a second. It's a 720 game. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to take this bad boy full screen. There we go. All right, now we're in business, guys. The game on the Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo GameCube have horrible graphics. Well, I did a side by side already for Need for Speed Carbon, actually. Um, this one I'm doing a versus battle for it, uh, Jurassic Battles for the first Need for Speed game versus the last Need for Speed game on PS3. So let's see here. I guess. We'll do career mode or quick race. I guess quick race would probably be the better option. Let's do a quick race. Can I choose my car with quick race still? Let's see. Let's do, I guess, this one. What's up, Ink Bendy? How you doing, man? Game mode. Oh, solo. Yep. And I always chose the RXA. It was always my favorite one. The Camaro is pretty cool. Ooh, Mazda 3, Speed 3. I used to want this Mazda Speed 3, actually, once upon a time. Oh, let me get this mic closer so you guys can hear me better. Might be too loud now. Let me turn down the gain. Uh, let's see. I guess... Uh, I don't know what to go with. I think I'm just going to go with the Mazda 8 because that's always a good one. I swear I never found any racing games as good as this. It's probably my favorite one, but I've never actually played Need for Speed Rivals, so when we get to that, I'll be a first. Let's see. Supra? The Supra. Where's the Supra? Oh, I don't have it unlocked right now. So we'll just go with the RX-8. Can I change the color? Did I miss the option for color? Oh well. Let's go on a racing spree, guys. Big fan of your channel. Thanks, my man. Appreciate it. I saw one video in 2017, Mazda 8 with teeth. Interesting. Mazda 8 with teeth. Here we go. Ah, which which ones go? Ah, it's R2. I love the night. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, someone knock, knock, knocked the noodles down. Oh, shit. So, I like on this game when you hit someone, the screen, like, shakes, which is pretty cool. There's some um, damage, like, stuff falling down and stuff like that. Like, watch. Oh, I guess it didn't shake that time, but... There we go. It shook. It shook that time. Yeah, this is a this is a really good game. I really like this game. I gotta gonna go 
Get Star Wars. Ah! Republic Commando for Nintendo Switch since I don't have OG Xbox. Hell yeah, bro. That game's awesome. Okay, we're gonna hit this. Oh, shit. I forgot you could do this. I forgot you could. I forgot you can slow down time on this game. I saw the notification for this. I jumped excited. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, gotta get in the zone. Auto zone. Okay, here we go. So what I like about this one is the night levels. That's what I liked about Need for Speed Underground a lot. I don't know, just everything with the lights shining and reflecting and it just looks really nice. Also hides a lot of the bad aliasing when it's dark. Oh, I'm coming guys. You better believe it. Uh, yeah, that loud hum is my PlayStation 3. It sounds like a it sounds like a rocket right now. I'm I'm playing I'm playing on my uh, original PlayStation 3 right now. I can try to get some noise suppression turned on. Er, hold on a second. Let me see if I can filter some noise suppression. Okay. Uh let me know if that's better at all for you guys or not. Okay? I don't know if it will be, but you guys let me know. Ah! How did I get out of this? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. What's turbo? I don't know what turbo is. Ah! So I'm playing on my original 60 gig PlayStation 3, and I have it modded to uh, turn the fan on as 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 high it, as high it needs to go to uh, keep the temperatures down. So it basically it always runs literally like a rocket ship. And the only reason why I'm using it is because it's modded, and I own Need for Speed Carbon, but I don't own Need for Speed Rivals, so I had to uh, get it by other means, if you know what I mean. But look at, to me, this game just looks brilliant. Like, the reflections on the cars, the lights, everything just looks fucking badass. Let's go. Oh, I, I got last place, guys. Woo! Do I plan on playing Miitopia? I don't even, I don't even know what that is. Me? You miss Blur. Like, you miss the blurry graphics or you miss blur the game? Let's go to career mode and just mess around with that, I guess. You could have sent me rivals? Oh, it's all right, man. I appreciate it. I just use my my hacked my hacked PlayStation over here. My my super slim PS3 is also modded, but it's a, a lot more difficult to play a bootleg on that game than it is on the PS3. Fat. Let's go to career mode. Start a career. Let's just start with scrap and see what happens. Um, I actually I have Need for Speed Carbon on everything. I actually made a side by side for this, and it's actually Need for Speed Carbon that got my channel popular because um, I was doing side by sides before it. I made Need for Speed Carbon. I cop I compared every version, and one day. My channel went from like 10,000 subscribers to 60,000 subscribers in, in a day. And it was all because of Need for Speed Carbon. Um, and most of those views were from Puerto Rico, actually. Which is funny. Split Second is better than Blur. I actually never played Split sec Second or Blur. But I did watch a history on both of them. Because I had nothing better to do than watch video game histories on games that I've never even played before. Ah! What's the e-brake button? Okay. I'd say a racing game is a bad choice to play when you're trying to read chat. <laughs> it's like texting while driving on your phone. You think you're, you think you're safe, but you're not. Are Switch games like... Animal Crossing New Horizons, Super Mario Odyssey Smash Ultimate, too powerful for the Wii U. 
Uh, probably not. The Wii U is still like an HD machine, just tone down the graphics a bit. Look, if they could put the new Doom games and Witcher 3 on the Switch, they could put those games on the Wii U. That's all I'm saying. So purchasing 15,000 copies of Carbon, <laughs> it was worth it? Yep, it sure was, my man. I even got it on the PSP, I think. It's, uh, not, it's a different version, but it says Carbon in the title, I think. Oh, look at that lag. Yeah, you guys see that lag? All right, we don't need to watch some tacky-ass cutscenes. All right, let's see. Let's go with, I guess, the alpha. The alpha bends, guys. No, wait, I don't want to test drive it. Do I have to test? I think I just clicked test drive. Damn it. I, this is on the Wii, and I think the Wii forces motion controls, too. If you guys are wondering why I'm like so shoved over to the corner and like you can't see half of me, it's because my when I went to start live streaming, my headset was dead and this cord is super short, but it doesn't take long to charge. As soon as it's charged, I can scoot back over. I'm never prepared for my streams. I've never once been prepared. Oh wait, were any of you guys here last week when I was streaming, uh, repairing my, repairing the Nintendo Switch video? Because um, I I got I got it fully working. It has all these games installed in it, right? But I accidentally broke one of the ribbon cables on the, one of the Joy-Con rails, so I bought a new one. I put that on, and then now the whole system's like bricked at the moment. Nothing nothing's working. So I don't know if it's bricked or maybe a chip shorted from putting that ribbon cable on. I have no idea, but it was working great. As soon as I put the new Joy-Con rail on. Everything just went to shit. So that sucked. So my plan is to... Uh, I'm actually going to take apart my Switch after I buy a proper screwdriver because I'm not going to drill holes in my Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to uh, remove parts and put them in a broken one to see if anything happens, like anything works from it. Man, I suck at this game. I used to be good at Need for Speeds. All right, come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. How do I use turbo? Square? Nope. That's slowing down time. Okay, nope. Is it a circle? Nope. 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 I don't know how to use turbo. I might not have it yet, unlocked. That was terrible, guys. But I'm just, that was just a test drive anyway. So I don't care. Robert B. Uh, I think that Animal Crossing New Horizon. Honestly, guys, I seriously like. I think with the right optimizations, a game could be put on any system, really. But there'll have to be some creative coding, some stuff removed from the game. So yes, I think technically. Animal Crossing New Horizons could go on the Wii. But if they would have to probably create it from the ground up. Like how they would do like PlayStation 2 ports from a PS3 game. Do it from the ground up and keep it as close as possible to the original. Kind of like also how the Splinter Cells on PS2 and GameCube are completely different from the Xbox because they were made from the ground up. But the same story and everything. So... I think it's possible. Just saying. Here we go. Whoa. Man, I really got crazy technical on this side by side when I did this game. Like, I was like talking about like all the different modes, and man, I was getting crazy with it. And it took forever to make too. Tony Hawk 4, which is so popular by the way, a whopping 3,000 views. But anyway, that one didn't take me as long because I didn't get into as much detail behind the scenes. Get out of my way. Trying to trying to drive here, guys. Got a pizza to deliver. Come on. Hey. What are you doing, bro? 
So when I'm playing this game, I can actually feel the slowdown, the frames drop from time to time in certain situations. And I don't remember what I said the frames were back in the day. If I even did that, I don't know. Ah! So I, I, sh I regret picking this car because the handling on it sucks so much. I guess that's where the slowdown would come in hand. Here we go. Oh, God, I cannot get this guy. Get out of my way. Oh, I'm going to hit it. No! Get the traction. Oh, no. Wait. What, what did I activate? Oh, I screwed up. Oh, he's supposed to block for me and I screwed up. I'm learning about things and I didn't even do it. Get out of my way, bitch. The game is... I, yes, get rid of him. I love this game. I beat the crap out of it way, way back in the day. That was a great block. Okay. Right, right. Um, I'll read chat in a second and see. Was Need for Speed... Did I just say start over? What did I do? Oh, I'm, am I drafting? Is that what's going on? I did, didn't I? I said restart. Can I... Did I... I don't know. I'm so confused right now. I did. Why did it? Why did it make me restart? I don't understand. Okay. I'll show you how. Yep. Activate. I subscribe to your YouTube channel. Thank you. Hold on a second. I gotta get through this. I'm going to get a blocker going here. Need for Speed Most Wanted on PS3. I can, oh, it's so hard to read chat with a racing game. I guess block him. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, where did this guy come from? Oh, I'm supposed to get behind him and draft him, right? Okay. Activate. Okay. There we go. Ah! Okay, thank you. Now we're completed, right? Oh, goddammit. Uh, come on. Alright, scout. Okay. Not with this POS. So am I keeping up to her? I guess. I she just ate it though. Was I not supposed to pass her? Oh, I was supposed to. Was, you need to chart. Okay. Okay. Don't care. You got a bus. See ya. Now, there we go. Okay. Reading chat. Gonna go back up here, guys. Your Call of Duty. I know, dude. I was. I haven't had a hundred thousand view video in a long time. So I saw that and I was super excited about it. Um. I love PS3 graphics too. Um, I never seen any Switch game looking better than the Wii U game. But ah, uh, I don't know. I actually I can't say if I have or haven't. Mario Kart 8 is just like eight deluxe, nothing special. Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 ever is piece of oh, best game ever. Yep. Call of Duty World at War Cross. Yep. Thank you. I can't believe it either. Frame rate is mandatory on consoles. 
but frame rate is optional on PC. <laughs> uh, greetings from Spain. Welcome. I know you subscribe. Thank you. Most Need for Speeds on PS2 look better than GameCube. Uh, sometimes. Need for Speed most wanted on the PS3, but mobile version is just a little bad. Uh, Nathan was referring to the 2005 version. If you would have been playing on PC, the controls would be better. I have played on PC. What's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Dynasty Warriors 2 is a good game, but the graphics are so primitive. <laughs> they are primitive, I'll give you that. Uh, no, PS3 do not have the 2005 version. I meant Mega, not Mepha. <laughs> Both cars are on your side. They were teaching you how to activate different things. Yeah, I, I caught that at first. It's so hard to reach out and play and pay attention. Bro, is the Switch working fine now? No, the Switch was working fine. It was working perfect. And then I got my new Joy-Con rail. So I broke that one. I, I attached it. I got an error on my screen. Couldn't turn the switch off like the power button wasn't working anymore. So I just left it. Once the battery died, nothing works. I can't get anything to turn on. I can't plug it in. And I'm hoping that the battery is just so drained that not even a charge. I have to like jump charge it or something. I don't know. Uh, what HDMI splitter are you using to record PS3 gameplay? Shh. Bro, you're asking an age-old question right there. Just um, whatever one was recommended on a form at the time. I typed in, I typed it in, I did some Googling, some link to a Amazon for like 25 bucks. I bought that one. But to be fair, it's always hit or miss because I've bought in a few that claimed to work and they didn't work for the pass through, the DHCP pass through. Um, but this one I have now has been working fantastic. I like the uh, the wind tunnel effect I got going on in the car like that. That's really cool. It, it really makes me feel the speed in the game. Um, the music. The music's really nice. I don't know. This is just an epic game for me. Like This game, when I play, it just gets me pumped. I enjoy it a lot. It's not too hard like some other Need for Speeds. Um, I mean, it does have its, its, its moments, of course. Imagine aliasing and jaggies in real life. Well, I can imagine uh, blurry graphics in real life. I just take off my glasses and I'm like, oh, so this is what the GameCube looks like. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> I know I'm sh there's some GameCube games that look amazing. But sometimes they're too blurry because they do too many alias anti-aliasing measures. Uh, all right, so I know we're come back to this game, but I'm pretty curious. I want to switch to rivals real quick and see and, and do a real quick comparison of that. My PC specs are outdated. God, when I, I used to just brag about my PC specs back in the day. Um, but yeah, they're, they are uh, completely outdated now. Hold on, guys. Let me fix this real quick. Scaling. 20. Check. Properties. 20. Check. Okay. What man? I'm not a fanboy, but what things PS2 did better than GameCube? Well, third-party games. Um, and, uh, built-in, well, I guess it wasn't really built-in, but online gaming, even though the Xbox did that better than both of them. All right. Turn my controller on. Let's go to the game here or something. I'm trying to figure out how to do this again. It's been a while. Uh, PS3 game, right? No. Did it launch Webman? I don't think it launched my Webman. I'll try again. I think like it restarted or something. 
My sound has noise. That's my uh, PlayStation 3. My my beast. It sounds like a rocket. I have some noise suppression turned on. It's on high. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll do... I'm trying to... I try to take care of it. How do I launch a PS3 game again? I think it's this thing, actually. Can sharper textures on PS2 cause aliasing? Probably. They don't really have any anti-aliasing on the PS2. Um, so let's go to game. Uh, refresh. There it is. Need for Speed Rivals. Check. I'm using the 60 gig original PlayStation 3 right there i know it's hard to see because my green screen let me see if i can show it here ah this is impossible i'm trying you, you get the gist there it is right there <laughs> i was trying hold on a second there oh wait i gotta put this on top there okay now I'll go to the game rivals oh i have a super slim but this one's the modded one, and I need the modded one. Oh, this one's only 722? Bastards. Okay. And then let me go full screen. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, it's stalling game data. All right. That is the very first model that ever came out. There's the, It came out with, a, what, a 20 gig and a 60 gig. This is the 60 gig. Um, by 2064, Resident Evil 4 will, <laughs> probably, that's when I'll update it, <laughs> my side-by-side. -side. <laughs> so many models, at least it's a fast install. This is probably charged enough. Ugh, get off of me. Now I can move the micro microphone further away from that PlayStation, hopefully to help it. Uh, and then move my... That's good. Um, is there such a thing as 720i? Actually, yes, there is. Because old tube TVs could offer 720i or 1080i. And fa uh, but I don't think they really called it 720i. Can you please make a comparison between the backwards compatibility and PS3 Slim? Well, that's easy. They they both play all the PS1 games. PS3 Slim plays no PlayStation 2 games. And the original 60 gig plays 90% of PS2 games. So that's, that's, that's about it. Okay, let's play some Rivals. Yeah, a lot of PS3 games list 720i as supported resolution on the back of the box. How much time does it usually take to make a side-by-side -side episode? Well, oh shit, now we're in the dark, people. Hold on. We push the limits in the most powerful cause. Okay, we're back. Um, it takes a while. Because I have to play a, every single game uh, um, and write a script, do the, do the, I have to do, basically, every time I do a side-by-side, -side, I have to write, like, a four-page paper, you know, and do the research for the history of the games and stuff, editing, everything, it takes a long time, especially if there's a lot of versions, and then, the, and then acquiring the games also takes forever, too. They won't. They won't let me skip this crap. That is such bull crap. Basically, sometimes if, if I put a game in and it won't let me skip anything, I'm like, well, that's enough of you. No, I'm talking about emulation on Jailbroken. Oh, well, I'm a little outdated, but when 
I mean, maybe the super slim has better, better uh, jailbreaking capabilities now, but I I jailbreak these two at the same time. My super slim, you have to once you download a game like an ISO or a PKG, you have to then run it through some other software to install your uh, PlayStation 3's like uh, keys that that you have to download to your computer, by the way, from your PlayStation 3. And then you have to do that. It's like a few steps you have to do. And not every game is compatible either. Um, like, but with the PS3 Fat, you just download the game, P PKG or ISO, put it on a hard drive, and you're good to go. It's quite nice. Let's see here. Play as a cop, play as a racer. Interesting. Well, let's play as a racer. Oh, I'm sure Resident Evil 4, some, some kind of port could have made it to the PSP. But it would have been pretty crappy, I'm sure. It would have been like in episodes, probably. This isn't letting me skip anything. This is driving me nuts. It's like, every time you play a Need for Speed game, it teaches you how to drive again. It's really annoying. I guess Super Slim has some issues with jailbreaking. Yeah, that's what... There's a... Yeah, if... If you have an older version, like, don't update... Never update your firmware. You know, that way you can jailbreak your systems. That's always the, the key there to success. I just scored an 80 gig fat PS3 that... Uh, it works great, but... I put a game in it, and now it won't. It doesn't work. It doesn't eject, so I have to fix that, and then I'm gonna jailbreak it as well. I'm good. Exit garage. I'm good. Can we just race? I just want to race, man. Oh yeah, you have a jailbroken PS Slim PS3. Nice. I I had a Slim, but it, I fried it. Because what happened was, I bought a, a PS3 pass-through, the, the splitter, so I can record gameplay. And I accidentally plugged in the PS3 to the wrong HDMI port. Though That's the, the port that the um, your capture card should have plugged into. So basically, I plugged it in backwards, and as soon as I turned it on, it like blew up. Like, something happened, and it just blew up and stopped working. And... Like the probably the HDMI chip or something. Uh, so if your PS2 is having trouble reading CD games, you can pop it open, clean the lens off. Um. You're all set to free. Oh yeah, I, I totally smashed that fat my slim PS PS3. I have a video of me trying to fix it on my channel, and I failed miserably. I was just trying to reheat some chips up and stuff. Did absolutely nothing. So, what you can see here, which I'm pointing at, which you can't see me pointing at it, is on the Porsche logo. Super aliasy. Okay, so I like this turbo button. So, one... One thing that I'm noticing... Oh my god, shut up already. Oh my god. So much talking. Valor, thank you, my man. Rook, <laughs> Rook Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> I like that. Did you know that there was a PS3 port of Gears of War 3, but you need to run it on PS3 dev because it has more RAM? I did not know that. That's interesting. I would love to see that. So, what I like about these graphics is, well, it's daytime, but it's, uh, I don't know, it just seems more realistic, or, I don't know, it seems more grounded to reality than carbon. The controls feel the same. Um... Uh, for the most part, I just suck. 
The music so far sucks. This isn't very... This music doesn't get me... Doesn't get me going at all. Um... See, so yeah, this one thing that this is missing is the speed lines. Like, I really, really like from Carbon. Really engages you in the game like that you're going fast. But what I said, like, the, the reason why I like Carbon because it's so dark is because it hides a lot of the uh, bad aliasing. Well, this is in the daytime, and you can see all of that aliasing, especially in the trees. The Wii version of Need for Speed, the run, is awful. <laughs> I never played the run, actually. I wish Super Chat and stickers were available worldwide. They're not? That's stupid. I wonder why. What do you think of Most Wanted 2012? I don't really like it, actually. I have it on my PlayStation Vita, and I don't care much for it. Of course, I've only played it on the PlayStation Vita. Ah! Let's go this way. So now I'm gonna ditch some cops. I'm curious. So for those of you who've been watching the Need for Speed Carbon, at the moment, which one do you think looks better? The Carbon or this, uh... This one, Rivals. I think I have to try to find a night, a nighttime level on Rivals to really get a good comparison for it. Is is there any daytime levels in Carbon? I don't know. I can't remember. Stranglehold versus Max Payne Three. That's not really, or is it? Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, because Max Payne 3 was on the PlayStation 3. You're right. And Stranglehold is a really old title. Are they similar, though? Oh, I guess they are, huh? Bullet time and all that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, shit! I saw that coming. Uh... Most Wanted Tales of 12 on Vita is the full console game crammed onto the system. Nice! Yeah, I think, for me, I, had, I just have a hard time controlling... The cars in the Vita with that little joystick. 2005 Most Wanted is my all-time favorite racing game. I do like to. I do like Most Wanted though. Also, I but I like Carbon more. Where am I going? Okay, so I have to find a racer to challenge. What's Easy Drive mode? Oh, I see. Oh shit! I'm going the wrong way. Come here, boy. I like that rumbling on the screen. That was kind of cool. Wait, where's he going? Get back here! I want to race you! Whoa, did I see some screen tearing? One thing I noticed is a lot of um, later releases on the PS3 get screen tearing because they're mostly just PS4 ports and they're just quick cash grabs and they don't take their time on polishing it like... Shadows of Mordor. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna crash into you. Car damage, nice. It's pretty good. I didn't really check the car damage in Carbon. Need for Speed is lacking story nowadays. I really wanted to try... I've never really been... I've never really found a story to be good on any of them, personally. This is just the PS3 version. Lighting looks flat. There's tons of shimmering and aliasing on the image. And the textures look muddy. I could, I agree with that. But also, I'm, I'm kind of putting that down to the time of day. Because it's like, it's like cloudy. But you're, yeah... It's just cla oh damage critical. You can like get too much damage. Oh shit! I I kind of like that. Like I like how beat up my car is right now. I think it looks cool. Let's see what happens if I crash into this wall. Uh oh, that's not good. My car is now smoking. So I don't think Need for Speed Carbon goes this far 
into car damage. Holy shit. Look at those physics. Oh, wait, I'm still driving? I'm still... <laughs> damage critical. Let's get in a race with this critical damage. I'm gonna go try to catch up with this guy. Find a racer to challenge. I'm looking. Race, 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 race! Head to head started. Let's go. How do I know where to race? Oh, there's a map right here. Excuse me. Coming through. My car's in critical damage. If, if I hit a fly on my windshield, I'm going to explode. So the one thing I'm noticing, though, is, is even with critical damage, like, there's nothing. My car still feels fine. Like, I'm not slowed down or anything like that. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, that was cool. I really like that jump. That was really cool. I don't feel any sense of speed in this game, even with the turbos. Nothing really tells me I'm going fast. I don't feel it. What happened to my car? Why did I, what happened? Did I win? Why did my car do that? I do like the shaky screen in the grass, though, or when my my tires are just kind of like bumping. That's a really nice effect. Yeah, 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 I lost. You completed your speed Time to Did you know there was originally going to be a sequel of MK Shaolin Monks because MK Fire and Ice should have focused? That would have been cool. Dump truck and carbon kind of sucked, not gonna lie. <laughs> Who's gonna use a dump truck? No, I mean that in a way where it's a clear port. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It is, so far, it seems to be a pretty solid port to me. I don't... I don't see any screen tearing. I don't see any frame drops. The graphics to me look pretty, pretty great so far. I don't, I can't, it's hard for me to compare two games until they're side by side though. The worst graphical looking PS3 game I tried was The Evil Within. Yet when I played it for PS4, it had a lot of FPS drops. I have it on the PS4. I didn't notice any frame drops, but I also didn't beat it. I think Evil Within is a good game to a certain point. It gets pretty repetitive. But it is fun, you know. There's a good challenge to it, trying to solve like puzzles and stuff. If you're in a police pursuit and your health bar is drained, you'll lose all speed points you've currently banked. Ah, okay, gotcha. That makes sense to me. <laughs> look at this guy honking his horn. All right, look at this. I do like this this guy in the car. You can see his arms moving with the steering wheel, and the damage on this car looks. The damage effects are amazing. Like, look at this. That That is really nice, the graphics there for damage. What about in the in-car view? Is there in... That's it? Just two different... Just two view modes? I can't get, like, a steering wheel mode? That's it. Two different view modes. I think Need for Speed Carbon had, like, four. Hmm. But I do believe this game has a lot more to offer in damage effects. Let's find out. Let's go back to Carbon and see what's up. You should compare Singularity versus Bioshock. S Singularity. Okay. I can look into that. Oh yeah, sing signal out of range because... I wish OBS had a filter that would automatically change the the resolutions instead of me having to go into properties each time. That'd be nice. All right. So I don't believe... I think I have to go into this now. This is a jailbroken PlayStation 3. Yes, it is. That's why it's so loud, because it's my fat one, and I'm not... It's the jailbroken one, and I need it. To play Rivals, because I don't own it. But I do own Carbon, which is right there. By the way, I have a question. I have a Sony account, and I used it on both my PS3 and PS4, and unfortunately, my PS3 was jailbroken, and I didn't spoof, so they banned my account. Probably not. Once you're banned, that is it, bro. 
Like, there's no coming back from that. Uh, that account is probably gone. I haven't read anything about accounts coming back from being banned, so I don't know. So this does happen sometimes on my jailbroken PlayStation 4 when I'm switching between multi-man and the base PS3 options. It gets black screened. So I just got to turn it off and back on. Which isn't a deal breaker, but we're going to do it. It's just blinking right now. I do wish I could play Resident Evil Village. Isn't it out right now, though? Like, couldn't I just buy it and play it? Shit, I still haven't played any of the new Resident Evil since part five. Dude, guys, I'm so behind on gaming. The newest game I played and beat... I don't know which one came out first. I, the newest two games I played and beat was Metal Gear Solid Five and Dark Souls 3. So whatever the newest one is, that's the newest game that I played. Um, well, I know you can start a real game without entering multi-man, but I can't inst I can't start a backup game without it. At least I don't know how. But here's my real game. The problem is, like, when I play a backup game, it shows it as a disc because it's not a PKG. It was the ISO. So it took, it, it overwrote my actual Need for Speed Carbon, which is a real disc, saying that, you know, you could only have one. Like, your PS3 doesn't have two disc drives. What's up? I'm like, it should. All right, we're back in. We're back in. Multi-man games. Gotcha. Well, I'll have to Google that then and check it out. I didn't know you can enter into backup games without entering multi-man. Yes, load. I've always... Like, this was the coolest thing to me when the PS3 first came out was auto-saves. Like, it was so cool because I always... On my PlayStation 2, I always forgot to save games. I, I would lose, like, hours and hours of gameplay from a death or something. So auto-save to me was always, like, I was like, this is the, the coolest feature I have ever seen in my life. Let's go check out some car damage now. What's up, Paul? How you doing, my man? And I miss my PS3 with Rivals and Carbon inside. So sad I sold it three years ago. I have never been the type of person to sell video games or my consoles. I have kept everything since I was a young lad. Well, okay, sorry. I did keep my... I did sell my Nintendo and Super Nintendo games, and I regret that. But I have all of my PS1 games all the way up to now, which is nice. Well, all of, most most of my PlayStation 2 games were stolen I, when I was... Uh, my first apartment, I was robbed. So most of those were stolen, but I do have... The ones that were left, I, I kept. Let's go check out some car damage. Uh, do you have a PS5? I wish I had a PS5, let alone PS3 playing on PS5. Shoot, man. I wish I had a PS5, a Series X, and an Xbox One X. All right, let's go start crashing. All right. Look at this. Like, I love the shine on the cars. The lighting effects, everything in this game. Just love it. No, all right, let's go crash again. Let's go find a car to hit. Get out of my way, bitch! Let's go hit this wall. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. No, it's not. I lied. I need. I need to hit something hard. Hey, let's hit this ice cream cone. Oh, never mind. It's up. It's up high. Okay. Okay. Let's go straight. Oh yeah, let's check the views. One. Oh shit, what happened? No, I can't check my damage. No, I didn't. I thought I was doing like a quick race thing. Oh, I guess I was. All right, look, so we could just do damage faster. I don't have to take so long. I can just start smashing stuff. 
Yeah, we got. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, 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 four different views versus two. All right, let's start smashing stuff. I need to hit, like get side damage and stuff too to start hitting things on the side. So let's see if I can start getting some side damage here. How f how hard do you gotta go to get damage? Well, let's get into fourth gear at least and just hit something super hard. Oh, head on traffic. Can't get harder than that. Alright, stop. Okay, one thing I really liked about Rivals is I can move the camera around to see my car. But I can tell you right now, there's no car damage on this car. Yeah, look at this. No car damage. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. You could just rent an Xbox One X but never return it. <laughs> this was one of the only PS3 launch titles to lack any success access. I bet you Sony was trying to get him to do it and the developers were like, fuck you. We saw what happened to that dragon game. Actually, if you said this was a launch title, they wouldn't have been able to see it happen. Um, is the game PS3 launch title? I didn't know. I don't think it's a launch title. I think it came out right after it launched but i don't know disaster if you like drug dealing <laughs> and so on like vice city get vice city stories i have vice city stories good game on my psp and ps2 uh if ps2 is good then why is there no ps2 too <laughs> but like at some point you're like ps1 right PS1 was good, so then there would have been like PS1, 2, PS1, 3, which is exactly what it is though. PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5. The frame rate is uncapped on both 360 and PS3. It's not the most stable, I have to say. Well, I will say that there's no car damage really. I, I know your windshield gets cracked, so I saw that. But other than that, yeah, man. And it, and I don't, I don't like, uh, Shadow, oh, shadow, okay, medium, laps, crew members, traffic level, hi, always, we want NOS on, yes, difficulty, okay, shadow, what's, sh is shadow, what are shadow options, like, what does that mean, like, shadows in the cars, or just like, someone, yeah, what is shadow options, that sounds weird to me, PS2 is a great console, but I think PS3 is the best console. I think overall the PlayStation 3 has better games than the PS2. And it, graphically too, because like I could play PlayStation 2 games, no problem. But the graphics, I will admit, aren't the greatest. Now, when you play a 360 or a PS3 game, those graphics, I think to me, are always going to hold up forever because the graphics are bearable. They, they have the nice lighting effects. Textures are high quality. It's all in HD. Everything looks really solid for the most part. And um, so I think that's why I like the PS3 more. Have you ever played The Darkness? Oh my god, I played The Darkness when it first came out. Me and my friend beat that game in like a day. Well, really, it took us two days, but we took turns on it, and it was so fun. I never played Darkness 2, even though I own it. But Darkness 1, oh god, that was a good game. See, look at it. I, immediately, I can feel the speed in this game versus Rivals. Like, I feel like I'm going fast. It's nice. It's a nice, it's a nice feeling. Get out of my way, bitch. It was short, you're right. Oh, 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 let's go this way. Shortcut time. See you guys later. 
Rooker, Rook Daddy's getting better at this game. These guys don't stand a chance. Also, I'm driving a better car. The first time I played Need for Speed Underground 1 was on the computer without a controller. Needless to say, I had a pretty hard time. So I went out and bought a controller, but it wasn't the easiest thing to configure back then. Because I didn't have 360 controllers. Because it wasn't a thing. This is going to suck. They're going to... Oh, they're catching up! Ah! They're catching up! They passed me! I don't know what turbo is. That's not turbo. So X is turbo and rivals. This one is the brake. My bad. I use a crew member to do some dirty work for me right now. We're going to go straight across here. Get back in and win. That's right. I'm a winner, guys. Chicken dinner. Darkness 2 was awesome. I'll have to try it sometime. Man, I remember playing so much Need for Speed. I don't like any Hot Pursuit game. I know I'm in the minority here. But I do not like them. Uh, do you, did you know there's a DS game called Animal Crossing Wild World? I didn't. I'm not an Animal Crossing fan, unfortunately. Hey, Rooker, have you checked out Need for Speed Heat? Or Need for Speed 2015? I ha Need for Speed 2015, like most you mean most wanted? I haven't played Heat. But, let's see. But I played most wanted on my Vita. But the ending was open for a new title. You definitely should do a comparison of Fear 1. Oh my god, I love Fear 1. Oh, so that is such a good game. That little girl scared the shit out of me. Just saying. My uncle bought PS2 console when PS3 was released. Hey, can't go wrong with that. Shh, guys, I, my, my job for a living is to sell stuff. I sell stuff on eBay and Amazon. And I sell PlayStation 2s all the time. I just, I, I just repaired a bunch, three PlayStation 2s. I found out that you can buy brand new lasers for them that have never been used so i put in brand new lasers which basically makes these things brand new playstation 2s and i and i uh well they're they're not sold yet they're on my ebay store but yeah they're brand new lasers in those things it works it loads the game so fast like my ps2 does not load a game that fast it was i was like i should keep one for myself i have played full auto one because i think it's like multiplayer and me and my friends were looking for something, something to play, and we played it. It was okay. So, I gotta go back to the other game now. Sorry if this is annoying you guys, me going back and forth to the games. It's because I'm trying to get a feel of each one, you know, little by little. Because if I just play one game for two hours... And then go back and play the other game for two hours. To me, it doesn't work as good as we can't retain some of the information. And I'm not writing anything down right now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to redo all of this anyway. I am recording my gameplay, but I will be redoing it all. Okay, here we go. Let's see. So, let's see if I can go into multi-man without i mean launching my game without multi-man load games with webman playstation 3 dude dude you're a rock star for making me find that thank you wait it didn't do anything oh there it goes you're a rock star thank you Uh, I think Carbon is better than Undercover, personally. I just like Carbon a lot. Um, I do sell games when I get them in. I don't find a lot of games, because if it's something that's rare and I don't have it, I'll keep it for myself. Um, I actually have two... Two eBay stores. Um... 
Let me see here. I sell... I don't only sell video game things. Video game stuff, though. I sell everything on my eBay stores. Um, hold on a second. Let me load up my one of my stores here. eBay store. eBay store. There's one. Dun, 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 dun. And then let me get my other one real quick. Let me sign in. It always makes me put this password in for my phone, which is annoying. Only on this account, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, it's a... Uh... Okay. What? Wrong code? Wrong code? It was the wrong code. Uh... Okay. That's the right code. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. That's fine. Account settings. This one. This is the copy exit. Second store. Okay, that's the second store. All right, back to game time. Okay, we're back into rivals. It, it, honestly, if you own a console that could be jailbroken, and it's not, what are you even doing with your life, you know? <laughs> Is Carbon for PS3 any better than the PS2 version? Way better. I, DJ, I have a full side-by-side -side comparison comparing every version of Carbon on my channel. You need to check it out. It's old, so you might have to do some scrolling. No, Dreamcast would never be able to run San Andreas. Oh, it's going to make me watch this again, too? I did something. Something I probably shouldn't have done. History files? Did some kind of button combination. Something happened. I don't like that. This Need for Speed is okay game. Not the best, but cool. I haven't really played much of it. I like the car damage. Burnout Paradise. I was thinking about doing that one time, but there's a million versions, so I put it on hold. I've never played Need for Speed the Run. I played the demo, and I found it weird that I was able to get out of my car. Like, I, I was like, this doesn't seem right, right for a Need for Speed game. Ah, I did it again! But yeah, I was like, this doesn't seem right for a Need for Speed. Why can't I skip this? This is stupid. Didn't I save? You guys don't want to see my mouse. Here, I'll just leave it right here for you. There you go. Check out these green screen effects. There. We'll, we'll, we'll wash out my face so we can make the green screen go away. I think you should do a side by side of Burnout Paradise to sell, yeah. By the way, what do you think of... Oh, we did that one too. That PS3 sounds like a jet. <laughs> Dude, it is a jet. I have it turned on to where the fan can go as loud as it... Or fast as it needs to to keep it cool. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that loud noise, guys. I played Burnout Paradise on my computer. Let's go with a cop. Let me see if I can get some additional noise suppression in here. Hold on. Hmm. Wonder if I run two noise suppressions, if that will do anything. This is your assignment for today. Uh, what about if I go into choose from a constantly changing set of assignments that add different pursuit vehicles to your command post? Into settings, audio. Uh, no, nothing in there. Filters, is there anything else besides noise suppression? What do we got? Noise gate? What's noise gate? What does that do? I'm afraid to open it up because it's an original 60 gig model and I'm terrified to open this thing up. Inside your command post, you can choose your car. 
So I guess this game doesn't have autosave because it's making me do all of this again. So what's up with that? I was just talking about how I love autosave games and this one doesn't have it because it's making me do all of this again. What side by side was the hardest to make? Rayman 2. Because that was very hard to make. <laughs> that one was so, so hard to make. Oh my god, it was so hard. Uh, have you managed to get your hands? No. I'm never going to pay as much money as people are trying to get for it. I don't even like paying retail prices. I'm a guy who finds a deal. That's... And paying that much money, like that's why I still have a graphic, a 1080 graphics card because these stupid coin miners are making the graphics card market ridiculous now. So I'm never going to pay that much money for a graphics card. It's just stupid. I paid $600 for my 1080 and it's like five years ago and it still costs $600 to buy a 1080. Like, how stupid is that? It is so stupid. I know that I can open this piece. Well, so about a week ago, I watched this video of this dude who got a fat PS3 and he uh, installed a new fan. He, in he drilled some holes in the bottom and he added new thermals and stuff. And so I was thinking about doing that too, because the fact that this PlayStation 3 runs this loud, it does mean that it will yellow light because it will get too hot. So like, it doesn't matter if I open it up and break it because it's going to break. It's just, it's a ticking time bomb, this PlayStation 3 right now. And I do need to crack it open. I bought this from a garage sale for $10, like a, a year and a half ago. It was crazy. This game runs... It runs really smooth, guys. Muddled. Like, they're not bold. Nothing's, nothing's bold. More grounded to reality, I guess. Even though cities and carbon do exist, like for you're racing through Tokyo or something. It is super expensive, especially in my country. It's like 2K. Yeah, we're up to like in Idaho, people are selling them for, if you want the disc version PS5, it's like $1,000. Do you think, well, honestly, I don't really like the way the PS5 looks that much. So I'm waiting for, because it's too big. I, I like the way it looks, sorry, but it's too big. So I'm actually really waiting for the smaller version because it's just too too damn big. I'm doing great, Eric. Thanks, my man. All right, we're gonna go. Oh shit, that's a good. I guess that's a good way to uh, pull someone over. Oh, you're done. Is he done? Where is he now? Is there a map? Oh, there's the map. Ah, oh, shit. I do like these graphics though, like the fact, I don't know, like I can control the camera, like, God, it just looks really good. Ah, I was trying to hit him. Oh, police cars got turbo. No, it's not. I can see him right here. He's going to get it, too. Oh. Oh. Speed points. Speed points. You're done, son. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Later, Paul. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Do you think they'll update Fallout Engine or switch to Unreal Engine? They'll never use Unreal Engine. 
We're just gonna, they're just gonna keep updating the piece of shit they got already. The heat is probably what's keeping the capacitors from dying. <laughs> right? I know, huh? Probably. Problem is, if it's too much heat, that's what fucks them up too, sometimes. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it! Hold on, I don't know how to, I'm gonna get it! Dude, did you guys see that? Shit, watch this. When you back up, you can see his head. You see his face. Look at that. That's awesome. I, f I feel like this is, um, like, this is a PS3, but this, at least this car, is looking like in the middle of PS3 and PS4 graphics. I don't know, this car just in the... The physics and the animations, it's really good. And like the shaking when you're on the ground like that, I just don't feel the speed of the game like I do in Carbon. But the damage, oh shit! Love the damage. Have you ever thought of having members on your channel? So. Story time. Rooker Vision, to me, when I started it, I wanted it to be like a place where I could have tons of tons of content creators working with me and for me, right? Rooker Vision, like a television, you know what I mean? And I started to do that. I had my brother who used to do content, and I had another guy. And I was paying him to work for me, paying him 60% of whatever his videos made. And he was doing some pretty good content. I liked it a lot. But then, um, I don't want to say he got greedy or anything, but sometimes I would pay him late, but I would pay him his money because like I was waiting for YouTube to send me the, the money. And, uh, I'm really bad at looking at my bank account and seeing when money came in, but I would always pay him his money that he got. And he thought that he didn't need my channel anymore because one of his videos got over a million views. Actually, it was uh, God of, his God of War video because actually when the new God of War came out, the creator shared his video on their Twitter account, which was awesome. Anyway, so he went and thought that his content, he can get his own views on his channel. The problem is he only had like 20 subscribers. So he's only getting like 40 views per video. I invited him to my channel because I really liked his content because I have a lot more subscribers and he can get a lot more people viewing his stuff. But he decided to leave the channel and I haven't looked for anyone since because I had... Oh, and I also was paying other people to make content too. I had a couple other people. They weren't exclusive to my channel, but I would give people free games to do reviews for them. And that didn't really work out well too either. So I don't know. I just haven't really done anything since then. It hasn't really worked out. But that was the idea. I really like this game, but they focused on the online too much. This was probably the era, especially with EA times going single player games are dead. We only do online gaming. I remember EA was doing that. By the way, bro, what are the PS3 games that are graphically impressive? I actually have a video on that, I believe. But this game here is pretty graphically impressive, I gotta say. It looks... It looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the dirt... The dirt that goes on the car when you're driving in the dirt... The puddles... Of, the puddles of water in the street. Uh, yeah, you know, I just gotta say, I'm um, I'm really impressed by this game. I'm driving shitty on purpose because I'm looking, I'm looking at all the graphics right now. What happens when you go off a cliff? You don't get water splash effect. I want my goddamn water splash effect. Ah, why? 
Need for Speed Rivals of PS3 has better graphics than GTA 5 on PS3. Well, GTA 5 is a much bigger game, so that's why. I haven't done Drive Club. Nope. Bro, your channel will grow bigger. You're a nice person and your content is amazing. I appreciate it, my man. I think I could have had this channel been three times larger if I didn't quit when I quit. And if I update and upload more constantly, but the way my life is, it's so hard. It's so hard. Do you by any chance sell PS3s? I When I have PS3s in stock, I do. I have... Well, I do have a PS3 right now. Uh, I have a slim PS3. And... I don't... I should... It should it should be on my eBay store as we speak. I'm pretty sure it's there. Um Let me just search my store real quick. Here. PS3. It's the, not that store. It's got to be this store. Selling uh active let's say find PS3. Oh, maybe it's not posted yet, or it's sold. I don't know. But I have a slim. I do. I have. Oh, uh, see, look at there's some water splashes over there. That's kind. Of, oh, that's like the waves hitting. Let me get over here. Let me check this out. Ah, uh, look at this. Look at this. The fact that you could do this. This is amazing. I wish I could do this in carbon. What I like about this is you can get some really dope screenshots. Now, can I disable the UI? That's a... Let's let's check that out. Can I disable the UI? How do I get to options? Oh, here we go. Game settings. Overwatch. Nope. No UI changes. Nope. Interesting. Turn, oh, stop, 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 stop. I want to check out these waves. I'm trying to see if they're actual waves or if it's just that effect that sprays. Oh, see? There's no waves. It's just that effect. But it's a good effect because you don't actually really get go to the coastline. E-break. Okay, e-brake works great. Oh, let's check for tire marks in the streets. I'm curious about that. So, there's my tire marks right here. Oh, they disappeared. So, they don't stick around too long. Okay, tire marks don't stick around too long. Got it. Noted. All right, let's go back to carbon now. I got to do some more comparing here. And posting, go to close. Properties. 20. And go to... Will it show the carbon in here again? Yeah, just the webman games. So how do I get my normal game back? Did that do it? What's happening? Is it loading carbon? Or is it loading rivals again? I don't know what's happening. I don't remember if that's a carbon. That's carbon. Okay, we're back to carbon. Woo! What is the difference between carbon and rivals? So far? To me oh, back to rivals? God damn it. So far, to me... Uh, 
The graphics are better in Rivals, but uh, it's hard. It's really hard to think about. So I haven't really got into any of the car modifications and stuff. I don't, is there, is there a lot of, uh, modifications on rifles, like in carbon, where you can do, like, your, um, uh, uh, body kits and brakes and rims and paint and decals? Does rivals have a lot of that? How do I get back to my normal game? Should I just eject it and put it back in? Yeah, I think that's going to work. Imagine if Resident Evil 4 gets ported to the Nook <laughs> Or the new Blackberry that's coming out. Oh, I think I froze it. Oh, there it goes. It says Rivals again. Ugh. All right, we're going to restart this thing. It's turning off. No body kit customization. See, I love, I love the body kit customization, I gotta say. Love it. It probably got all quiet for everyone right now. It's like, oh, that's peaceful. Well, get ready, because the rocket ship's coming back, boys. She's a coming on back home. All right, let's go back to Tim. And there's Carbon. Do you guys remember the uh, six axis controller, DualShock 3, is the better one? But originally it was just six axis, and Sony was trying to say that DualShock is old technology. It's all about six axis, but really they were just in a lawsuit with the rumble features. <laughs> but they were trying to sell it like no one wanted the rumble anymore. Such so ridiculous. Let's full screen it. So, get this, guys. It's so funny. I have this Logitech 1080p webcam. I bought for $150, like, seven years ago. Yeah, it's completely outdated. But I bought this today. Doesn't even have a name anywhere on it for $2 from a thrift store. Just because... When I do repair videos, it's I like to have two webcams. This webcam is better than my Logitech one. And the only reason why I'm not using it is because the cord's too short right now. And I didn't feel like going behind and unhooking stuff to get this to hook up where this current webcam is. But yeah, two bucks for some Chinese webcam that's better than this Logitech, seven-year-old Logitech. You should do a video of the whole video game collection you have. <laughs> I wish. There's a reason. There's a reason why the screen screen's here right now, because my room is a disaster. I gotta, I gotta conceal it. Let's see if I can reveal anything back there. I'm trying to grab the screen screen. But I can't get a hold of it. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Do it. I got stuff back there. Oh. Let me see if I can just lift this above it. I don't think so. No. Uh, not right now. Not right now. Maybe eventually. But I will do eventually. I'll do a video game tour once I clean this nonsense in here. You really like that Animal Crossing dragon. <laughs> you're you're an Animal Crossing fanatic. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with it. Loaded. Okay. The custom matches. One thing I want to see is if I can turn the UI off in this game. 
Look at this. So I could turn gauges off. I could turn everything off, huh? Off. Off. Right? Let's see. Yes. Now, the reason why I like to turn that stuff off is because when I'm comparing graphics, I don't like to have any of that stuff on the screen. But it's also, to me, a benefit because it's just one more thing you can do. Don't connect to EA Nation. What's wrong with you? Uh... Have you ever used PlayStation Move? Yes. There's actually... Why is it trying to connect online for anyway? What's it trying to do? I'm not online. Oh, okay. I was doing the wrong thing. Uh, I have a... If you go on our my channel, go to the uh, Game Over Bro section. I think on Season 3, me and my brother are playing... Uh, House of the Dead on PlayStation 3. We're both using Move controllers. I guarantee you're gonna laugh your ass off. In fact, I think if you watch any of our game, any of my Game Over Bro videos with me and my brother, you guys will laugh your ass off. Especially the ones where we do skits. Those are the best ones. Here we go. I'm gonna launch this. Go 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 go. You're also a Sonic fanatic. My brother, my brother, uh, Rook's Arcade, or whatever his name is right now, is a Sonic fanatic as well. Because uh, his name, he was Sega Kid, and he had Sonic the Hedgehog in his logo before. On what, this channel, on my, on this channel, there is Game Over Bro on my main page, all the way in the bottom. Here, I'll send you a link. Hold on a second. Hold on, I'll get I'll get a link to it. One second. Game over, bro. Season three. Oh, you know what? It's season two. Season two. And it is right here. Link it in description. There. I guarantee you guys will laugh your ass off. Enjoyed House of the Dead video. Thanks for all your work. You're welcome, Timothy. Bro, you never disturb me. I don't get disturbed, okay? That's not that's not my MO. I'm a happy-go-lucky guy, man. I'm always in a good mood. No, I don't want to restart. All right, so... If you guys look in this car... You don't see the arms moving with the steering wheel at all, right? You don't see that. And when you go in reverse, you don't, well, you can't really see it. Yeah, you don't see his head going back like you did in the other game. We'll just assume that this car has a, a, a reverse camera installed. I love Splinter Cell. That's a good game. Okay. So I gotta say that both games have advantages and disadvantages. I see that the mini map's still there. I couldn't have turned that off? Or is that something that you have to have? Free roam map mode. Oh, there it goes. Off. Oh, and someone's banging. Let me make sure my wife's not, like, texting me or something. Nope, she's not. I don't think she's banging for me. Okay, so now we're going to go back. Oh, yeah, that's the money. Look at that, guys. Look at that clean screen, minus, minus me, of course. But that's amazing. Now, I would never play the game this way. 
but just for checking out graphics, it looks it looks really smooth. Uh, by the way, it's the first time I saw that section on your channel. <laughs> it's okay. It's old stuff. Season one is the oldest, but honestly, like I still watch all of those videos and the editing on season one and some of season two is pretty r pretty rough, I gotta say. Um, but the content's still really funny. Season three is the best. It's really funny stuff. Me and my brother have a good good um, um, energy with each other, and uh, we bounce off each other really well. And I think me, when me and my brother do videos, game over, bro, we make some really good content. And it's a shame that none of those videos took off. Because I'd really love to have him part of my channel and do more game over stuff like that. Well, what if the background screen behind you fell over? It would look like this. <laughs> that's that's what you would see. Now you're stuck with it. <laughs> that's what would happen guys my messy room so over there is my legos okay but right now anything green is going to not be green over there are vhs ps pc games and my some older collectibles in the bottom like genesis and super nintendo stuff there is my PS2, Xbox. Actually, it's basically that's all my console games. Because PS4 is on top, PSP, Vita, PS, 3DS. My biggest two collections are the PS2, PS1, and Xbox. Then I got 360, Nintendo 64 games down there. Then these are my big box PC games over there. Right above that are laser discs. Some Ninja Turtle Shrine, and and then over there is VHS stuff and some Legos and some collectible stuff up top. And my Xbox there, my Wii is down on the floor at the moment. One fat PS3, Nintendo 64. There's a 360 right there. And then over behind the chair is my other PS3 and, and my Xbox 360 Slim on the floor. So, yeah. There's your video game tour. <laughs> um, the first video I watched on your channel was your Splinter Cell comparison. That's a That's a good video, I think think by the way have you played any i'm going to turn this off now anyway because i'm going to have to go but i want to chat i'm going to chat with you guys for a few minutes first let's make me full screen so we can chit chat that's not that get out of there so first like, i gotta go like this like this Go and then oh yeah we got to turn that filter off too there we go now we're back to normal okay guys oh and you see that line i gotta go like this there we go yeah that's a little bit better wait i think i could plug in this camera uh oh wait no i can't i can't because there's no room ah the cardboard thing fell down um, let's see, by the way, have you played any of the SOCOM games? Dude, I used to play SOCOM 1 online a lot. That was a fun game. And on the P the PSP, oh, being at the time, we didn't have smartphones. And I used to work at a tattoo shop for 10 hours a day, and there was a lot of downtime. And I had my PSP, and I would play SOCOM online so much. And it was so fun. So, so fun. Nice tour. You're welcome. Uh, that's not messed up. If you check my room, you will know the definition. Well, okay. It was extremely messed up. And you see this box right here? Instead of cleaning it, 
my room, I threw everything in this box. Like, that's my I'll get to it later box. Uh, there's all kinds of shit in there. No, no trash. That's just, just personal stuff in there. So, yeah. What was the first game you've beaten on PS2? Man, you're making me go way back, aren't you? You know what? I remember this now, actually. It was uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 1, and then Metal Gear Solid 2. Those were the first two games I beat on my PlayStation 2. I have Xbox One S, and it's downstairs. And I'm not even sure if it works anymore. Because we used it only as a streaming thing. And, and then I would occasionally use it for side-by-sides. But it's my wife used it for streaming. And one day, it just wouldn't turn on. Um, and so... I haven't tried. I haven't personally played with it or tried to fix it or anything. I don't know if it is broken. Maybe it will turn on. I don't know, but it's just been sitting there. Um, I haven't needed to use it yet. Uh, I honestly, I don't know if it's gel breakable or not. I haven't tried to look into it. It might be. I haven't updated it in some time, so it's going to have a really old uh, OS in it. I have a uh, two. I just acquired two fat Xbox 360s that have the original dashboard on them. That is weird to see the original dashboard, I gotta tell you. Super odd. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I got some GameCubes over here. Um, hold on, I can I can kind of walk you guys around a bit. This This cord's super long. Hold on a second. For anyone still hanging and or hanging around that is <laughs> okay so you probably won't hear me very well because the microphone actually the microphone's just as long hold on a second i, I just hope the cord doesn't fall out okay Let's see what we can let's see what we could do here. I've never done anything like this before. So here's some PlayStation 2 games. PS4 up top. Okay. Some PSP titles over there. Right? Now, I got a lot of PS2 games that I really enjoy right here in PS3. None of this is in any order at the moment. Right? Those are my PS1 games down there. I really enjoy those a lot. Then you come over here. Got some DS games and stuff like that. And my Xbox titles here. Right here. Then you get down to my 360 games and stuff. And then... Right over here is some GameCube stuff, some Wii stuff, 64. Then you got my big box computer games over here. And then nothing special, just some VHS stuff, some Switch games, some Lego stuff. Uh, yeah. And my Ninja Turtle Shrine. But then over here, Got Hyperscan, a GameCube. There's my PS4. My PS4 is just sitting there with, oh yeah, there's my PS3 right there. And in here, which you probably can't see, there's some consoles behind Leonardo. Um, let me see if I can get to it. Hold on, I gotta put this down for a second. Watch out, Leo. So over here is a PS1. I know you can't really see, it's dark. There's a Nintendo right there, a Dreamcast. You can't see the Sega Genesis with the 32X, but it's there. Two PS1s, oh yeah, and an Atari right there too, but you can't, you can't really see that stuff. Anyway, let me go re-chat, because I was pretty far away from it. 
Oh. Hold on, guys. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, let's see. The thing is, the position thing is that it is one that runs 4K media on, like, PS4 Slim. That's true. Hardware pushing games were uh, were the lowest frame rate Half Life Two in the Xbox. And yeah, that sounds about right. What is the rarest game in your collection? Um, hmm, hmm. Let me see here. I let me grab it. Okay, dokie, dokie. Gotta be one of these, like X Men Academy Two, Medieval. This one, Spider Man Two, Disruptor, Bloody Roar, Parasite Eve. Whatever that is, Silhouette, Mirage, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, Diablo. This game, this is one of the games I've kept since I was a kid, by the way. Adventures of Lomax. This is the original one. And then Parasite Eve 2. Those are probably my rarest games that I have. <laughs> well, I also have... The original Turtles, too. Right there. See? Going across. To there. And I I sold them, but I had the 2012 Ninja Turtle cartoon. I had every single toy for them. But I I needed to pay I needed to pay my uh, mortgage. And so I, I sold them for like two thousand dollars one time and there'll be one of those things that regret i regret but yeah uh half-life one on gamecube probably because it couldn't fit on the disc um i remember buying parasite eve one on ps1 a long time ago and playing it and that game was so hard for me at the time but it was so fun too um, you know, another rare game I have actually, hold on, let me go grab it. I don't know. I lied. I don't know where it is, but Xbox, on Xbox, I have Predator I just got. That's like a $90 game, used, I think. Um, I might have games that are worth more, but like I have so many games, it's hard to keep track, you know what I mean? Anybody remember Half-Life 2 on PS3? I do, I got it in the Orange Box collection. They probably could do a two disc half life, but the problem is, um, I mean, they could do it because they did it on the Dreamcast. So if the Dreamcast could do it, I'm quite certain the GameCube could do it. But uh, the thing is, the GameCube didn't have a lot of third party support. So they're just, at the time, there wasn't any reason for anyone to invest that much money into porting it because there probably wasn't enough reason to do it. You know, so that's why I like the the Switch for me. The Switch is the first Nintendo game console that I w actually enjoy owning because there's so much third-party support. And even for old games, like, you can play, P like, a lot of old PS2 games, PS3, like, all these older titles, even back to PS1 games, like portable on your handheld in bed and to me that's amazing um and there's just so many games available for it i just 
And like the Switch Pro, I'm pretty excited for it because it's going to be more powerful. And once you jailbreak that, it's going to be able to do even more things. Like you can, I could play Dreamcast games on my regular Switch and they play pretty damn good. So, you know, it's pretty awesome. Uh, It's just, I don't know. I just really, like, I'm not a Nintendo fanboy because I don't actually enjoy Zelda games and, and Mario games. The only Mario games I like are Mario Kart and Mario Party. You know, I don't like Metroid games. So, like, that's why I've never been a Nintendo guy. But the fact that they have all this third-party support for the Switch is amazing. Uh, and I don't particularly care much for the flat design of this. But um, with the right hook, I'm going to get some, some grips. That way I can grip it easy and play. Like I have for my Vita. Uh, like, I'll show you the Vita. I bought this case for my Vita, and it makes it so much better to, to play with. Like, to be able to grip onto something, like, it's just way, way nicer. Um, jailbroken Switch, I'm talking about here. But if you go into the store, they still, people legitimately will still release old games legit in the switch store they will port them like people will be like you know what i can make some extra money on this old ass game let's port it to the switch and there's tons of instances like this but if you jailbreak your switch this thing can do everything um the only thing it doesn't do too well is in my opinion well i guess it does android good now someone told me you could do android 10 on this but I did Android 8 and I hated it because it just drained the battery life so fast. But yeah. Uh, yes, it does. It, it can play Wii games. Correct. Um, I think I think it could play GameCube and Wii games through the Android emulator. Uh, through Android only. So when you're in Android mode, you can't be in Switch mode. So essentially, you have to have two memory cards. You'll have to have one memory card for your Switch jailbreak and one memory card to run emulate, to run Android. Yeah. Honestly, I would say absolutely pick up a Switch. Now, pick a Switch Lite because I'm going to be real with you. You're not going to dock this. You're not really going to play it because you can you could buy a switch light for way cheaper but if you're willing to pay the 240 bucks get a normal switch because it can and make sure you get one actually get one that's jailbreakable otherwise it's not worth it you have to get a jailbreakable switch otherwise it's not worth it in my opinion um but it's just the coolest thing and get in order to jailbreak it you have to, every time it turns off and you turn it back on you have to bridge these little tiny pins down there on ebay there's they sell for like two bucks it makes it super easy but i use um <laughs> i use this little thing i made instead with a paper clip and i just kind of look bridge those pins and then turn it on and it works for me just fine uh you probably hate me for asking about this so much, but do you currently have Backwards Capital Boost 3? Yep, that's what we were just playing on. It's right, it's right here. That's why it sounded like a jet engine when I was playing those Need for Speeds. Um, but I would say, like, some people might say it's not worth buying a Switch because the Switch Pro is going to come out soon. But I guarantee all of those resellers are going to snag them up. You're not going to find it for three years. Uh, unless you're paying triple the cost. Like, that's how consoles are going to be now. And to me, that's where I think Google Stadia needs to come in and be like, you guys, you're paying all this money for these consoles that you can't get. Why not just pay monthly for this 4K streaming now? Like, they need to capitalize on this 
and and say like cloud gaming is the way right now guys because no one can buy a graphics card for your computer no one can buy a gaming console unless you're spending thousands of dollars but there's google stadia right here why not just do this you know what i mean scalpers yeah that's the word scalpers so yeah buying consoles is over because of scalpers guys like it's going to be so hard for anyone to be able to buy a gaming console at retail cost period ever it's never going to happen it, like you're going to have to wait at least a f one full year to two years before you can do it like you, you can still barely find these switches in stores every time i go to walmart i don't see these i only see the switch lights i never see these but i know people do because i my brother did buy one in the store for himself but i haven't physically seen one yet in a store um, that's just me ranting at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> there were rumors that the current consoles are going to be the last ones. The upcoming ones will be streaming consoles, and I guarantee that's true. That's why PS5 and Xbox made both versions, digital only and disc only, because they want people to only buy the digital one for the most part. But the, but the thing is, with all these lawsuits now going on with these digital stores claiming they have a monopoly, which isn't true, it's just their store, they can charge what they want, but uh, right now it's just starting with the App Store with, with, with Epic Games. But if Epic Games wins, then that means that people are going to sue the PlayStation Store, the Microsoft Store, for... Uh, the thing is... I don't mind that they set their own prices, but the fact that they are making it now to where you can't buy a game elsewhere and bring the code into the store and unlock it, now that's bullshit. If I want to buy a PS3 game cheaper digitally from somewhere else, put the code in and unlock it, I should. And I don't know if Sony does that, because I know that on PS3 and PS4 I can, do, I can buy games and unlock them, but... I know that I read that the Series X and the is is preventing you from doing that. Um, I hope Elder Scrolls Morrowind comes to Nintendo Switch. I seriously doubt it. Well, actually, if you have a jailbroken Switch, you can fully play Morrowind on the Switch, the the PC version with some enhanced controls and stuff. Uh, someone ported it over to the Switch, by the way. So, and it's completely playable. It's fun. It's amazing. I prefer discs too, as you can see. I hate the only digital games I like are on PC because Windows 95, 98, XP, Vista, 7, and 8, and 10. I can play all of those games still, all of my digital downloads, whatever, still, to this day, on my computer. I get a new motherboard, I get a new hard drive, I still play these games. You download all of these Xbox 360 games, Xbox One games, guess what? You can't play them on your Xbox One. You know, like, I will give Microsoft credit, when where credit's due, is that they are starting to kind of like allow previous purchases from Xbox One to the Xbox Series X now, but it's not really a thing you can do. So that's kind of why I don't like digital games on consoles. You have no idea how many times I'll buy a, 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 a PS3 or an Xbox 360 from the thrift shop, take it home, and it has like 30 games installed on it. And I'm like, you guys don't have those games anymore because you just donated your 360. Sure, you can get another 360 and log back in and re-download them, but on, only on 360. I have a question. Are there hard copies of PC games nowadays? Not really, no. Like, if you go to the store, a lot of times, you could buy the box, but it'll just be a code to unlock the digital version. Now, there are some companies like Limited Run Games that will release physical copies, but it's mostly for the Switch nowadays and PS4 or 5 probably now. 
Um, anywho, guys, I got to go. Um, it's been a really good stream. I appreciate everyone hanging out with me today. And uh, look forward to this Jurassic Battles of this Need for Speed game coming out. So, yeah, uh, I just want to say take it easy. And lemon squeeze.